Hey guys, so it's been a while since I made a video and I thought I'd make a video today. And I just wanted to just go over the very basic thing about soap making that I hate the most. And it's wrapping my soap boxes. <laughs> so I just have to pop myself up every time to wrap my soap boxes. And there's other things I can use instead of wrapping them. I can use uh, silicone, which I do use silicone molds for my circular soaps. And I could use, uh, this is not really plastic. I think it's a, it's a different material. I can use these, um, but I have, I have made soap in these before, not specifically the log ones, but I had a slab one that I made soap in. And I just feel like that the consistency of my soap came out differently using this type of material because um, the heat, it's, the soap doesn't breathe. The heat is just contained in this box. And I feel like using a wooden soap mold, I can actually control what happens to my soap better and I can predict what's happening in a wooden soap mold. So the first thing you need, or yeah, this is what you need, is um, freezer paper. So this is what I use to wrap my soap molds with. And it's just like using, it's just like doing origami. I used to love it when I was little, but I just don't like it so much now. So I'm gonna use some freezer paper. I would not recommend using wax paper to wrap, to wrap your soap molds. I've done this years ago and it's, it's like peeling onion skin. Don't do it. Just get some freezer paper. So the first thing you need is a wooden soap box. I made this and this has been with me for years. It's like, it's all faithful. And that's just goes to say, you don't have to spend a lot of money. If, especially if you're starting out making soap, you can go and make your own soap box out of just wood. I just want to like, I think I went to, um, Lowe's and I just had them cut wood to, my desired dimensions and I put it together myself. It's not the best, but it works. And I've been using the soap mold for years. So the first thing I do when I wrap my soap, and I'm, I'm just going to tell you guys, there's probably an easier way to do this. I noticed that a lot of things I choose to do things the hard way, but this is how I wrap my soap mold. So. All right. So freezer paper. And what I do, I just kind of roll it. Into a tube. You know what I should do? And I say this all the time. I should make like a template. I never do it. And I just kind of fold it over. I take the tube and I put it in here and I just measure how long it should be. And I fold it over and that's where I cut a little roll at. Then I stick it in here. I don't know why I hate this so much, but it just is that's not my favorite part of making my soap. It's just and I do it such a lazy way too. But it works. <laughs> and I kind of fit it into the mold. And I fold it over. So what I'm doing on the inside, I've actually creased it on the inside. So when my soap goes in here, I don't have any uh, rounded edges. And I want my soap edges to be like really crisp. So I just make sure that I run my fingers along the bottom. So that's in there. And then I just cut along the sides here. Okay. So this is the bottom of it. And then, I don't waste anything. I take this piece right here and I kind of just measure here. And I'm just kind of creasing it here because I need to know where I need to fold it over. And this isn't going to work because it's too short. I'll take another piece. I want to make sure that it's long enough that 
if my soap is like really thin, it doesn't leak through my soap box. I'm gonna fold this over. Fold it in half. I'm just measuring where I'm gonna fold it to fit inside this box. And then I just take it where I creased it. Can you guys see where I creased it? And I'm just gonna fold it in half here and the other side where I creased it here. And this is gonna go on the sides of my box. And I put this in here. Just wanna make sure it folds over a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. Pull it over. I'm just gonna lay this in half, like so. And fold that over. All right, and then I'll show you. Let me let me guys give you let me give you guys a close up of what's going on over here. Okay, so now that I have my things laid in here, I'm going to just unfold it inside. So I'm going to fold, unfold, um, I'm going to fold this side up like this. And then I'm going to fold it out. Almost like you're folding a, um, a swan. Remember how you used to fold those origami swans? See, and then I fold the other side up, increase that, and then I'll fold it out. So those are my corners, right there. All right, then I'm gonna do the other the same thing to the other side. I'll move it over here so I can see it. I will fold this side up and crease it and then fold it out. Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know what my hands are looking like. Hey, don't judge my hands in here. No judging. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to fold this flap up, crease it at the corner, and then I'll fold it out. And that's how I get my box corners. And then I'm going to come back with the center one, and I will fit this into the middle of it. have a perfect box. So then I'm going to cut my corners. So now that I have my perfect box, I'm going to cut the corners here. Or cut the, yeah, cut the edges. And then I'll just fold it over. And then everything will just fold over neatly. Then I'll come in with my handy dandy tape and tape it. Okay, so this is where I come in and then I'm just gonna tape it down. It'll help if I ever, if I earmark my tape, but I want to blame this on my kids. This one side. And I'm making sure that my creases in the bottom are still tight.
second side. And my edges. Okay. There you have it. <laughs> my perfectly lined soapbox. Okay, like I said, there's probably an easier way to do this. This is just how I've been doing it for 20 plus years and it works. So this is how I personally line my soap boxes. So that's, um, I think, well, that's what I wanted to show you guys. I just hate doing it. I was actually um, teaching a class at one point and the people who are showing, they had a hard time doing it too. So it's not just me, but yeah. I think this weekend I'm going to be making some, um, I was thinking about making some burnt orange patchouli soap. I do not like patchouli. Trust me, I don't like patchouli. But when you put that orange in there, it smells great. And then I'm going to make some Herb de Provence soap, which is like a lavender herbaceous smelling soap. I used to hate it. But, no, well, I hated the herbal smelling oil, but then when I added the lavender to it, it smells so awesome. And then I think I'm gonna make some, I was gonna make some mint soap. Well, anyways, I'll be posting what I make this weekend. I'll have some videos and pictures, so stay tuned. All right, guys, I just wanted to show, have a quick video showing guys how I do my handy dandy soapbox wraps. All right, I'll see you guys soon, bye.